Hey, I'm Matthew from Living Tesla. You probably know by now that the Model Y and Model 3s after June 2020 now come with a wireless charging pad. It's a pretty nice pad. It supports up to 15 watt charging over USB-C. They added a USB-C port to the center console and it works great if you have a phone that supports it. But not everyone does. Or some phones that have wireless charging don't charge that fast. Like iPhones only charge at seven and a half watts. My Pixel 3 only charges at five watts. And even some brand new phones like the Pixel 4a don't support wireless charging at all. I'm personally not satisfied with five watts because I typically only drive short distances. And at that power level, it's just not enough time to significantly change the charge level of my phone. So I tested that USB-C port in another video and I saw that it can actually supply up to 27 watts to capable devices. So I want some of that. I started looking for USB-C cables that would fit in the dock and nobody sells them. So after much searching, we found a manufacturer that would make them, but it still wasn't as simple as that. The Model Y manual shows where you can put wired connectors in the dock, but when I tried it, it turns out that's an error. It actually doesn't fit. So first problem, this wireless pad has little pieces that block the cutouts where the connectors would go. So at a minimum, this pad would have to come out and you'd have to replace it with something else. And second, this cover piece doesn't have the cutouts that the old one had. So it can't go back on when the connectors are there. So to solve that, I made a spacer. It lifts the connectors up so that way they can clear the wireless pad and you don't have to remove it. Snaps into place. It has spaces on both sides so that you can put connectors on either side and it even works with the older USB-A connectors from Tesla. I plan to use wired on this side and wireless on this side, so I'm just going to install one connector. My initial plan was to reuse this piece and just snap it on, but it turns out once you stack all this up, it's too tall. This piece is a good bit taller than the old piece was, so it just doesn't fit. So instead, I made a new cover. It has kind of a textured look on it because it's 3D printed and it's kind of more square. But I think it kind of fits in with the aesthetic of the material. And really, this door is going to be closed and you're never going to see it anyway. So if we test it out here, showing charging rapidly, which means it's USB-C power delivery on this phone. So good to go. We've tried this with several different phones and several different cases, but of course combinations are pretty much endless. But one of the great things about 3D printing is we can adjust things just about however we need to. So if you get one of these and it doesn't fit, let us know, we can probably alter it. The only hang up right now is getting power to everything. We only have one USB-C port and one USB-A port in the center console. So right now I'm just swapping cables as needed could possibly use a battery bank or run power back to the 12 volt outlet, but ultimately I plan to use Jetta's hub because it has two USB-C ports and three USB-A ports on the front. So we put all this together into a kit with two of the cables, the spacer and the cover, and they're available now on our website at livingtesla.com. We hope we're not the only people who want this because we had to buy a bunch of those cables to meet the minimum order quantity. So check it out if you're interested. I'll also put links in the video description and on the web page for Tesla's USB-A cables if you're looking for that, and also Jetta's hub. So that's it. Let us know in the comments if you have any suggestions for improvements or other product ideas. And as always, thanks for watching.